Jay, I, wa- I want to ask you about, because obviously the Bloodline story has dominated the industry for the last three years. And I just want to get your take on just the pride that you have in your heritage being shown on weekly TV, that it's really dominated pro wrestling and how much the fans have been involved in it and how much appreciation they have for it. It really did completely change the industry. Like how much pride have you had during the course of this entire story? Very, 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 very proud to be a part of it. It was, uh, I think, uh, I, I think going through that, um, you know, that COVID era, the Thunderdome era, I, I've said this before, like w- we did change the game there because one, there was no more live crowds, right? So the the acting part, the like the the emotional part had the had to work, like had the we had to dial into that part a lot. Almost almost became like real actors Zeus, instead of uh you know pro wrestlers, which the, the wrestling part was awesome and uh you know the wrestling part it it just it just wasn't it we we had to level up uh some way here and the wrestling part of it was cool but once once we started tapping into the like the the emotion part where the promos was just you know hands on you know there's no crowd it was so every little thing that we did in in the um in the ring or on camera was just like to me just magnified 10 100 times more you know so like the facials the 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 line deliveries man just everything was I learned from that that little that era being with Hunter and Roman and like man Paul Heyman you know man it just it just it just brought my game up man it brought everyone's game up around us and I was just really happy man to to watch that unfold in front of us and in front of the people for sure. Uh, I watched this thing on Instagram and it showed every entrance you've ever had, like your progression. It was one of the coolest things. And then I've, I had forgotten your early entrance with your brother with really no music, the war cry, uh, dress in more your native culture, uh, garb and the dance and, and the yelling and the facials. Can you explain that to like when you guys first came out, but also like, again, this is about your culture. Yeah, Tom, man, you, you know, more than, uh, more well than anyone. It's like, you always got to evolve here in the business or just like try to keep up or just try to always level up your character. And like at that time was, we wasn't doing anything. We was just like trying to find our own, you know what I'm saying? It was trying to find our stick. And, uh, uh, we just, you know, the the Siva Tau's always been part. It's always been a part of uh, sports anyway. It was like they hit it on rugby. Rugby's not big here in, uh, you know, uh, North America, but it is everywhere else. It was uh, rugby, like volleyball, um, uh, you know, football out there in the West Coast. You know, high schoolers do it, Pop Warner. Like, it's real big out there. So we we wanted to incorporate, like, why can't we do that here? And – and uh, Cena, uh, John Cena is the one who, yo, I seen you guys like, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of this every now and then just, just to play around. And then, you know, uh, Cena saw what, what it was. Yo, see, you guys need to try that on TV. Well, try it. So, so, okay, you know, pitch it to Vince and try to, you know, get something rolling. Vince wants to see it. We do it in front of Vince, which – might have been the most nervous I ever did. It was because, you know, before the doors open, you know, all the boys are out there by the ring, right? So we're we're only doing the dance in front of the boys and Vince. Uh, he likes it. Uh, the next week, uh, we, 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 like, sharpie our face because we know Uncle Umaga's a tribute. Like, what else can we do? You know, we, we drew a black sharpie on, on uh, my face for a dark match. Uh, Vince, Vince likes it. He goes, just don't do, just no black. You know, we've seen black before. Cool, light bulb go off. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, me and Jimmy's like one of our favorite wrestlers growing up. It was, boom, bright colors. You you know, um, now, now uh, everything just started like kind of clicking together here. So 
Oh, man, just took off from there. Oops, and then really leaned into it. Really, when it started, when the ball started rolling, they added pyro. Uh, like, it just it just started working, man. And I'm just so happy it was it was just, it was with us the whole time. It was just, you know, just putting the culture out there for everyone to see it. Don't know if you know this, Dave and I, we've interviewed many times Brian Gewertz, and your call-up was just because exactly what you said. They had nothing for you guys, and you guys were just doing nothing, and they call you up, and you impress, but then the one thing that Vince says is, don't have them talk. Yeah. Did, you know, did you know that? I kind of heard something like that. Jeremy, right. but, uh... He said it on our show. And then lo and behold, now you guys, if you think about when you talk about your progression, massive part of the bloodline and that storyline has been promos and just how you talk. You become you, your brother, Roman, some of the best talkers and hold us with your words, which is such a credit for someone who said, eh, just don't, don't give them the microphone. Yeah, man, that's, uh, that's crazy because that probably at that time, man, I didn't like, I was, you know, still green too on the microphone and it just took repetition, repetition, repetition. And also having like, you know, Heyman with you, man, won't deliver it like this. Or what if you put this word here, here, the cool part about them, uh, Dreamer was they never like put a ceiling on us. You know, they, they, they like go out there and say it like how you talk, like, you know, how how all you guys talk together, you know, it'll it'll come off uh you know organically, naturally, and man, it, it is now. It's like I, I like like I wanna talk, even even to to today. Like I like I love opening up bras. I like I, I wanna be put in that position. I, I wanna still hold the crowd uh, you know, with my words and with the promo, everything that I learned from uh COVID the Thunderdome era, I still try to still try to tap into that emotion today but it's very hard because you know like because you, you got the live crowd back so i, I want to go that way but uh I, I try to stay focused uh like i learned from randy randy orton was the first one who i seen use the cameras the way he used and then how how roman just man he he get he picks that he picks it apart and i just i learned that craft and i just i just want to you know keep my uh foot on the gas pedal with that you know, one thing that was kind of awe-inspiring for me is during this story when there was the press conference in Vegas when we were getting closer to WrestleMania 40 when The Rock showed the family tree and the, the complete heritage of everybody that was involved. And when you really – and we know it and we've studied it, but when you visually see all those names that are there, it, it just feels like – when they talk about the greatest families in the history of pro wrestling, you have to talk about this bloodline as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, just because of all the heritage going back generations, but even currently who's wrestling now, including you, it's, it's, it's pretty awe inspiring, isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. Like I, I, I still, I'm a fan of my own family. Um, Like you said, seeing it on paper, it, it hits different. It was like, I don't, like man, like what? It's crazy to me that I'm a part of this uh, dynasty, and I would like to think there there's so many great, like the you know the Cody's family, the Hearts, man. There's so many good, fam great families, man. But I I really believe in my heart. It was 100. percent We we are the the first family of of professional wrestling. I saw on the. I'm Amy. sorry, Tommy. Oh, okay. go ahead. Just Tommy, I just wanted to follow that up. Knowing that and seeing that, did that put any pressure on you? Did, like, did you feel the pressure of all these generations and all this pride and all this heritage? Was that a weight on your shoulders? Man, it used to be a weight. Now, now I'm, I'm comfortable and uh, um, excited and happy to, to to carry the lineage forward now because now I know who I am um you know the the my brothers know who they are it, it was just hard to just try to make your own footprint in 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 the sand of so many huge superstars it was, if that makes sense like what well, 
it, it was very intimidating at first. I don't know if I can do this wrestling. I mean, look, look, look at these big shoes I have to fill, right? Uh, now, now we're just we're we're flowing now, and we're picking, we're we're just carrying it with us, Zeus, and uh, I'm very proud of that. Should be. That's amazing. I I watched uh, the biography of Roman Reigns, and, and seeing you and your brother get so emotional talking about your family member, Roman Reigns, but ha more importantly, how he helped you. Can you yeah. elaborate just a little bit more? Because like you're talking about a person who's like you got you both got so emotional. Like it, it was just it, it really it was inspiring to me to show how much you care about somebody for them helping you. Most people don't get their flowers when they're still like with us. But like you guys saying that, like, how does that mean and feel? I mean, I'm guessing from the interview already, but just if you could just tell our listeners. Yeah, Tommy, man, it's just, it's, it's just so crazy. Like, you just come from the bottom, like, for cousins. Like, I know you have a first cousin. Everyone has, like, their first cousin, play cousin. They, you know how you feel about that person or each other and how you guys do everything in life together. Which you, you come up and grow as kids and then you just roll through life, become men, take care of your families. And I'm so blessed. I, I still get to do it with my, with my brothers and my cousins. And just to see, like the level that we're at, where he's at now, and and to see how he's just elevated my whole family, even though we was already here, man. To to see how he's done it in a graceful way and a humble way, and it's it's still bringing us up, um, man. I just. I, I I love Joe, man. I love all my brothers. I would do anything for them. You, man, Tommy, you know, you've been around my family for years. As we're family-oriented type, man. Like, I want to teach that to my kids. Like, I just, like, family first over everything. It's, it's, it's always family. That That is embedded in us to the day we are brought on earth, like, from the eldest all the way down to the youngest. It, was, it really is family, 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 family first. Take care of your family. Um, uh, Joe's Joe's just killing it right now, was, and I I never thought I knew I know he's special, but man, to see the tribal chief today where he's where he is now compared to like the big dog and the shield, like everyone's elevated, man. Right. And and I always like to just stay on there, just stick to the code. If you stick to the grind, man, Tommy, man, you know this ain't no this ain't no sprint. It was, it's a marathon all the way. I believe in hard work pays off. If if you stick to your stick to your guns, and the road gets bumpy and hard, man. But I do feel like, man, there's if there's once you get to the other side, man, it's all we you, you we we don't know. You, you just you, I don't even think you're gonna know when you get on the other side. It's just happening, right? I'm living in the for moment. Sure. Well, I'm happy uh, it's happening for you. Yeet for life. Love you, buddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, love you, too. Tom. Like, that, too, bro. Ye I didn't know, man. I'm like, come on, man. This, this is fire right now. So I'm enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying the ride for sure. I know you should be. Congratulations, and, and thank you for taking part in this very important show. We truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you and a pleasure having a conversation with you today. Hey, it was anytime you need me back over here. I'm there. We'll say the word, man. It's family over here.